Hey y'all! Hey, welcome back to Happy Art Creations. I'm Tammy. I want, I'm fixing to do, that's a Texas term, but I'm fixing to do another taped Dutch pour. Okay, this one's still wet in the middle. I just did this yesterday, but y'all look at this. I'm I'm not gonna lie about it. Look and look how pretty this oh, the sides are, and then they're white down below. I know it's hard to see it, but anyhow, I am totally look at that. That is gorgeous, and so I'm fixing to do one on a 10 by 10 canvas. This one kind of had rounded sides. It's a gallery wrap, but this one here had rounded sides, and it's a standard width, I think, like 5 eighths or an inch or something. The next one here, um, which I'm going to do right there, is a 10 by 10, and it is gallery wrapped also, but it has the square sides, and they're kind of abrupt. So I taped it a little different, so hang on just a sec. Let me put this down. I'll be right back. Okay. It looks like I need to move. I thought I had this all done, but hey, let me move it this way. Move out of the way. There we go. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's good. That'll work because it's going to be right here. All right. So I just did a sandwich pour and I'm using some of the colors that I had before. Okay. And I wanted to show you this. See how I've taped it? right here and then I've taped right here so anything that overflows is going to go over that but when I remove the tape it's not going to be there and it just looks so clean now if you make sure that you take your finger like this and I made sure my edges were super duper I mean the ones on the front I went around and took my nail and edged it and just made sure everything was super tight up against it my tape works really great. I get it at Harbor Freight. It's called Stick Tech. And I have no issues with it. Excuse me. And so um, let's get on with this, y'all. I'm ready for fun. All right, here's my middle. This time I am going to mark it. Make sure, maybe I should mark my tape and make sure I stay, because this isn't going to matter. It's probably going to be covered with paint. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, Anyhow, I want to make sure that that I'm in the middle this time. Last time was a little off center. It kind of moved, I think, on me. But it's very possible that I didn't find center. <laughs> but I can kind of see it better now that I have these little marks. Okay, so that's going to be my ring. Um, again, that's just a little simple 10 by 10. Okay, um, I've diluted. This is Art Artist Loft. Okay, Artist Loft. Um, it basically flows and flows and flows. Now I had this mixed up. Sorry, I'm still adjusting because I had these mixed up for my uh, Sammy pour, my sandwich pour. Uh, I bet you that's perfect. I am going to use my um, air gun again. Okay, so let's set this down. And right now I'm just going to flood my canvas and let it let it do its thing. Okay, here we go. Wow, look at those bubbles. Woo! Oh my gosh, look at that. I will be twitching. Let me bring it back. Bring it over. Bring it back. I am going to go over all the sides on this one because of the squareness. But I want to kind of get the... Wow, look at those bubbles. That's just nuts. But yeah, I've been messing with it. So let's see if I can get this over here. Okay. get over that too. I'm just going to pour it over it. Now I can't see my little <laughs> my little marks, but I think I could probably figure that out. Uh, making sure I'm covering the open space that has the paint um, you know, where the canvas is still showing. I'm making sure that one's covered. Let me get some of this right here and just kind of cover that up. Alright. Wow, that is nuts. Got my kitty over here out of the way. In the way. Alright, let's try it. And that's my kitty, little Emmy. She's a ginger kitty. Oop, looks like I'm out. Well, I can do that. <laughs> there. Da -da -da -da. It's always good to have a spare. This one I about killed because of resining. And, you know, you can't help but get stuff all over stuff. 
and I'm super neat. I try to be when I resin, but resin's sticky and messy, and you know. Okay, let's move that one out of the way so I don't grab it again. All right, so here's my center, here's my center, here's my center, here's my center. So, I can move this around, but I just want to make sure that this guy is kind of in between. There. Oh, that's better. Okay, got it. Y'all, it looks like I'm not in the focus like I need to be, so let me move this. There we go. That's better. I just want to make sure I had it right for y'all to see. Okay. I'm going to move these paper towels. They do not go there. Alrighty, I am using the beautiful colors I just used. Um, I've got Pyrrole Orange, Liquitex. Oh, I had a list of paper and it told me all of these in here, but they're on my last one. This is Xanadu Cold by Chromas. I know those. That's Payne's Gray by um, uh, Goldens. Um, this is Deco Art Berry. This one is Persian Red. Really, look at that. Persian Red Master Touch, but it's really pretty. It's a, a dusky, soft um, pink. This one is Fuchsia Magenta, or Fuchsia Pink or something, from Anita's. And this one is a mishmash of a bunch of colors in order to get more of a salmon-y color. Okay, so I'm going to be putting seven colors plus my flow of white. And I am going to use my um, airbrush. Okay, alrighty. Do I have what I need to have? All right, I think I do. All right, so I'm going to start around the end here. Y'all, I really, really, I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle, but I'm thinking um, this right here, the, the paints gray is going to be a really good addition. Okay? Um, trying to think of the first color. I didn't think that out very well. How about I put the orange on the bottom? These might still be a little bit thicker than I normally would for a Dutch pour. And I say that, but when you use the airbrush, it does move a little differently. It moves a little better. Um, let me go ahead and, um, or a little bit easier. Okay. I did have to water these down, but I have this feeling that they're not going to. Let me add. Here we go. Now I've never done this in a French, I mean a French, a Dutch pour, do these colors like this um, with the Payne's Gray like that. I've never done that, but I'm thinking it's going to be quite gorgeous. And here is the Xanadu. This Xanadu is very similar to um, Artist, not Artist Loft, Deco Art. It kind of looks that way. It's not quite, and it's probably not as glamorous. <laughs> As um, you know, as some. Now, do I want to put anything? I know that's a lot of paint, but it's got to go over my whole canvas, and I just want to make sure. Um, I kind of like this. I think I need some white. Where is my white? There it is. I'm going to try just a touch of white, and I mean just a little. Let's see if I can get that to come out. There you go, that. And put a little bit more gold, kind of more towards the center. I don't want to overdo it, but, you know, gold is worthy of overdoing it. Let me blow out my bubbles on this paint. It always takes two shots to get this... I think those are very pretty. I'm, I've never used these colors together for a Dutch pour, so this is going to be pretty cool. All right, let's, I'm going to do the ring around this time. Um, there we go. I thought I wanted that one, and I don't. I want this one that's a little bit fatter, longer. Oh, 
those colors are gorgeous, y'all. I'm wondering how beautiful this is going to be. Okay, so let me set that there like that. Yeah, let me just do it right there. All right, see this little guy right here? We're going to see if I can get him up. Oh, there we go. Got a bucket of water over here. There you go. All done. One more torch. When I did my Sammy pour, my sandwich pour, um, these colors, oh, they did so beautiful. Okay, here we go. Remember, you're going to hold, hold it more like a pen, like this, and you're going to hold it at an angle. Don't go straight down or it'll blow everywhere. It always has a burst of air when it first starts off. So again, I just kind of do this until that air. All right, now I am going to try to push this over, and I'm going to start, and I'm going to go towards my corners first, okay? And you can see it moving, see? And I don't know if I can get this to go over. I'm hoping I got enough paint, but I might not have enough paint, but I think it's still beautiful. All right. I'm going to have to move it. Afterwards, I'll play with it. We'll see. Okay, turn it on. Look at these colors here. Mm, luscious. <gasps> Ooh, I said that word. Y'all, I don't want to say luscious any longer. I'm just saying. It's kind of goofy for me to say it. <laughs> okay, still got this running. I'm going to try to get these to go over, but I don't think it will. And even if it doesn't, I think it's still gorgeous. Let's see if I can get them to flow over a little bit. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to over, overdo this, you know. Oops. If you don't get it just right, that's probably because I wasn't doing my angles right. Oh, I've got paint on me on my thing. All right, let's give this a try over here. I like the, the paint spray, y'all. What do you think? There, these are starting to go over. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I hate to have to mess with it, but I really need to push some of this over. Um, I know I'm covering up, it seems like a lot of my, oh wow, okay, I'm going to gently, gently come in from a distance, so you can see it moving, see, and just move it just a hair, I don't have a whole lot of paint it looks like. Oh, I think I'm going to have to kind of mouth blow that one. So let me do that real quick. But look at the colors as I bring it up. It's gorgeous. There we go. I didn't need to do much. Okay. Now yesterday, I did go over here and um, I took my little uh, spatula and I got some of my paint and covered up some areas that weren't quite filled in. Like right here, there's a little spot here and I'm going to make sure those are covered. But basically, this is, ta-da, and you really can't see a whole lot. Even these areas that I, that I covered up that are taped, I wanted them to go over because I want to see the design on that little bitty area that's still open right here on the sides, okay? Because it kind of frames it in. So let me go ahead and... Kind of scared me yesterday because um, on top of the tape, you're going to find at least mine, I don't know, um, it kind of it kind of looked funny. Um, so I thought, oh, okay. But this morning I got brave and started pulling the tape off a little bit. And uh, when I did, I saw that it was hallelujah. You know, it turned out really good when you go, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. You know, that kind of thing. Anyhow, this kind of looks like a cabbage stem. See it? <laughs> All right. 
Y'all see it. I just know you do. All right, let me move this around. Make sure my fingers are where they need to be and not mess up any of my pore part. And I'm going to bring that down and around. Guys, it's so hard. I wish I had a different setup, but this is what I have right now. And I'm thankful, and there are no complaints. Um, you can see the metallics, or at least I can. These colors are rich and beautiful. And you know what? That doggone Payne's gray highlighted this so much and I love the orange in the middle so um, y'all I'm excited about this I will show you um, this next video I'll show you the results and yeah I'll see you next time guys thanks for visiting me here at uh, Happy Art Creations again I'd appreciate it if you would like uh, share and subscribe I'm working towards my first 100 um, subscribers so I'm getting there I'm, I'm really trying I'm not quite there yet y'all so I need your help if you're enjoying these just let me know you can comment anything always keep your comments kind because we always want to make sure that we're not tearing people down but we're building up a happy heart all right y'all I'll see you next time okay toodaloo bye bye